Morning nuggets. Okay, so I was trying to think about um, what to put a blog about today. And um, I went through an experience the other day at uh, Ralph's, um, our local market. So around us we have Sprouts, Ralph's, Vons, Bristol Farms, if you're rich and stupid, and um, who else do we have? I don't know, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, of course. Um, so we have all of these markets around here, right? And um, like Trader Joe's, you go to Trader Joe's, there are long lines outside now as they manage the occupancy load. And they have this really simple system in place, right? They have two people who are basically COVID responses, responders, right? One of them collects the carts. Uh, well, actually three people. One is out on the lot collecting the carts, brings them back to this other person who cleans the carts at the point that you take the cart, right? So they will spray it down and they will hand it over. And then one at the door counting how many people are going in and out and managing the load, right? And there are long, long lines of people who are willing to deal with this approach and to support Trader Joe's because they're doing it the right way, okay? We have a pandemic and it's just the right way to do it. And thank you for doing that. Sprouts are doing a very similar thing. Uh, there aren't as many people who shop at Sprouts, but you know, Pavilions down the road from us are doing the same thing. Vons is doing the same thing. Ralph's is not doing that, right? Ralph's is not doing that. They're not cleaning the carts at all. They're not managing occupancy, at least my local Ralph's and honestly, the one up the road. So I can't speak for every Ralph's, but there's one um, up on La Tierra and there's one near LAX. And the one near LAX is our local one. Uh, they're not doing any of that stuff. They don't They don't care about that at all. Now, they were at the beginning of the pandemic, but then they just kind of thought, nah, I'm not going to do it. Here's the worst thing. When I spoke to a manager there, I said, why aren't you guys cleaning the carts? Like, we're still in the middle of the pandemic. The manager said, oh, we are cleaning the carts. We're just cleaning them before uh, they're put into the cart bay, which is the place where the customer goes to pick up the cart, right? We're just doing it before we put them in. They're all clean. And then, so I then get my shopping from Ralph's. I go to my car. And as I'm unloading my car, or loading into my car, rather, I see the guy collecting the carts, putting it in the cart bay and walking away and customers coming up and taking them. They're not cleaning them at all. So I went back into the store because I'm a belligerent little fuck. I went back into the store and I said, they're not cleaning the carts. I just watched him put them away. And he said, okay, I'll have a word with him. He knows he's supposed to. This was three weeks ago. Here's the thing. They don't clean the carts. Nothing has changed there. So I'm not talking to the management about it. It's no point. They also don't manage occupancy. A couple of days ago, there were so many people in the store. And it was clearly above whatever the occupancy limits are, right? And they just don't care. And this drives me nuts. This drives me nuts for, it's just so carefree. And here's the thing, it's treating it like it's a little common cold. It's like, well, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is, although the percentage is low, the worst that can happen is someone could die from this. But I think this is something that seems to have been lost because the pandemic has been going on for so long. Those numbers have become this slightly obscure thing that we don't connect to, right? But look at it this way. All of those people who go into Ralph's every single day are told by the management, should they happen to ask like me, like, our carts are clean. We are cleaning and sanitizing our carts. We have an occupancy load here and we don't uh, break it. Now, what if someone goes in and trusts that piece of information, catches COVID-19 and dies? They literally died because of the information that Ralph's gave to them. It's just disgraceful. It's disgusting that we don't understand the consequence, however small the chance is, is someone's death and they still won't clean the fucking carts. That's craziness to me. That is that is the, 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 the ugliest part of a capitalist society, right? Is the fact that they just were, I guess, you know what, any society would do that. It's not just capitalism. But the fact that they would just see like, you know what, we would have to pay someone to stand at this door and spray, because they have sanitizer spray, and spray the carts down. We can't do that. We can't afford to spend that 12.75 an hour on someone doing that. No, we're not doing that. 
Yes, we happen to be making more money than we have ever made, and our stocks are going through the roof, but we can't afford to do that. That is disgusting and disgraceful. I'm so ashamed for them. I'm just like, I'm so embarrassed by that attitude. So I wrote to the public health department. I wrote a letter to uh, Ralph's. I got a response this morning from Ralph's, which was just a stock response of, thank you for your concern. We, of course, want everyone to feel that Kroger stores are clean and inviting, and we will be speaking to management. It's bullshit. And why would I trust Ralph saying that when management has already spoken to me and literally just lied? Just lied to me. Like, yeah, we're cleaning the carts. Bye. See ya. Bye. He thinks we're cleaning the carts. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to put it out there because it's just so disappointing to me. It's so ugly. It's such an ugly part of human nature of this that, that people think it's okay that you can do that, that we're just not treating this seriously. We're not... We're ignoring the fact that, you know, 200 and where are we at? 30,000? I don't even know what the number is anymore. 230, 40,000 people in this country alone have died from this. We're acting like that's nothing. That's millions of people's lives destroyed. Millions of people's families destroyed by the loss of a loved one. And Kroger won't clean the carts. Worse yet, they lie to you and say they are. I just think that's disgraceful. I noticed, I saw a, a press report that five Kroger stores, Ralph's stores specifically, um, five Ralph stores had been fined in Los Angeles for not following COVID-19 policy. And if we're taking this seriously, those stores should be shut down. They should be shut down. Let everyone go to Trader Joe's, let everyone go to Vons or Sprouts or, or, or Whole Foods or wherever the hell you know, just go somewhere else. It's not like Ralph's is cheap. It's not like it's servicing the, the, the poor part of the community that can't afford to go anywhere else. Ralph's is expensive. It's one of the more expensive stores. So if they break the COVID guidelines, we shouldn't be finding them because they're making more money than they've ever made before. They're going to think it's worth it. They're like, man, you know what? Let's take the fine. It's cheaper. This guy, we don't have to pay twelve seventy five to this person and we haven't paid them for like, you know, three months and we get fined a few thousand dollars it's worth it no you should shut the store down that's exactly what you should do just like if they were breaking health regulations in a restaurant shut them down just shut them down oh disgusting anyway it's 8824 sepulveda boulevard it's that ralph's so please don't go there or actually do go there go up to the management and have a go at them and say this is disgusting why aren't you doing this it's such a simple thing not doing it is just either is at worst, at best, laziness. And at worst, it's unethical. All right. There you go. A little rant over. Fuck them. Fuck Ralph's. Go to Trader Joe's. Go to Sprouts. Right, you little nuggets. Cheerio.